Jake here again with another video and this one is really special is uh, it's a culmination of several years of work uh, and previous versions of an Odoo Mobile toolkit and I'm ready to release a, a brand new version that is greatly improved uh, please like please subscribe and in this video I'm just going to give you kind of very high level overview and show an example just how quick you can build native mobile applications now not just web applications that are wrapped in a JavaScript and then figured out how uh, to put them into a native app like a lot of, of the of the uh, solutions are. This is a true native toolkit you can use to build applications of any kind pretty much for any platform with one code base. So we're using Unity which is a, a unified platform for PC, uh, Mac, iOS, mobile, Android mobile, uh, a lot of even smaller platforms like uh, TVs you could even deploy to, or you could deploy to Xbox or PS4 and all those things. We're going to just basically like a lot of things, it's best just to see it in action so you can see how fast it can be and like literally in less than 10 minutes be able to build a native Android app that talks to a backend database and with no code to boot. So to get started here, I have a brand new, completely new scene. And so this is in Unity, there's tons of tutorials on it, but even if you've never seen it before, this should be really easy to follow along with. So to begin hooking up to Odoo, I come up under, under Tools, I choose Odoo Toolkit, and because there's no manager object yet, I hit Create Manager Object. At that point, we see a login failed here because as we see this notice says, a server is required, please specify the server you wish to connect to. I'm going to just come in here and pick from one of these predefined servers. You can have as many as you need. I'm just going to pick my local host. And as soon as I pick it, it is authenticated and tests the login. So we know that this is a ready server state. I have a whole debugging tool built in here. So if, if for some reason it's not able to connect, you can track that down. Then as soon as it's connected like that, I want to show you that there's nothing special here. So I can edit the connection and I can just see it's running on a local host the server is and I have a logon and password it hi I have the password hidden by default but you can see it here um, it's just admin admin because it's local it's not even on the internet and the database so that's all you have to specify and you're hooked up to Odoo uh, and you're c talking to the back end now we want to pull a model a table uh, is what people might be familiar with if not f familiar with Odoo's architecture but we want to talk and pull data from a model in Odoo so I come up here and I click plus and these are some of the models that I've predefined. I'm going to just pick contacts. Now, as soon as I do that, we can see it's loaded and I can query the data here and it's pulled the data right over from Odoo, just like that, no code involved to do this. And uh, these fields, you can just ignore these. These are uh, part of the beta that I'm working through. So I'm testing out some different processes here. So these fields don't matter, but you can specify what fields show up here in the inspector. Uh, like this. So this is an editor that I've created. One of the reasons I'm using the Odoo Toolkit inside of Unity right now is because it has a very, very rich editor environment. Like nothing really compares uh, to the editor environment inside of Unity um, uh, for having, having the ability to create custom editors and things like that. So this, this is a little custom editor. It's really pretty simple, but uh, it lets you see the data already. So we're all, we've got our data ready. Now let's build an app. Um, now we have a scene here and to, we need something to show so I'm going to come in here under the UI and choose a uh, panel. And this puts a panel here and I can uh, on this panel, let me get this out of the way, I'll just close it actually. Um, let's give it a color, let's make it kind of dark and we want it 100% so it's not transparent at all. So just a really simple red-ish uh, background, darker red background for our uh, interface. I'm going to just come down here and say UI and choose text, text mesh pro and this is a, a, a nice text object with all kinds of options you know bolding and you can pick your fonts and everything uh, the colors and that kind of thing. I'm just going to use it to say uh, Odoo contact list. I'll just say Odoo contact. And so this is just a static label and I just wanted to, to, to put that there and show that this is just standard Unity tools at this point in terms of the interface. Um, what I will do now is actually hook up to the data. So if I come here into my Odoo toolkit, I have a list of controls. I have one here called text. I can drive it up onto this panel here 
and I can move it wherever I want. Now it's empty right now because I have this tool, uh, this control set up to default to whatever models are here and, and name is like a common field. Every table or model inside Odoo has a name, so I default it to that so that you have a field. But you can pick any field that we've pulled over from Odoo in that model. Now I'm testing out some beta, so I didn't pull out you know, all of the contact fields. I'm just pulling over the fields I need. So that's one of the things about this is it lets you map your models from Odoo and quickly uh, only pull over the data you need. And what we'll see here is because this is here and, I, and this data is already hooked up, I can come down here and click first and it's actually gonna pull that data and send an event to update the label. So I can go first, back, next, and actually see this data in our interface update without even running the app. The app's not even running. <clears throat> this is just the editor. So we can hook up to all of our data. We can see it in the editor. We can lay out our forms in the editor uh, without even running the app. And so let's drag some more stuff on here. So I can drag this image on here, for example. And we'll just put it here. And like this one, if we come, we'll see, I have set it up. So you have to specify the model. We specify the model here and we'll say contacts. And we want the image as being the field name. And again, we have access to all these different fields, but we obviously want that image. Now if I come back here again and force a query, we can see that now the image is getting updated. And just as simple as that, the app is ready to go. I can click run, and now I'm actually running the app for the first time. And when it does, you'll see that this is empty right now until it queries the data, and there it is. Um, and if I come here to our toolkit, I can actually pull this up while the app is running, and then I still have access <clears throat> to tools in my editor as well to navigate this data. Already the app is ready now to be deployed, but we'd probably want a navigate panel on the app itself. So I'm gonna grab a nav panel. These are really easy to create. This is just a sample one I'm doing for this demo. <coughs> Excuse my voice. Um, and you'll notice it's specifying the model required. We can say that again. I have uh, a lot of tools here that, one of the nice things about it is you can have as many models as you want on a single form. There's no limitations. And, uh, and compound objects and things like that framework. It's very model independent and they all can talk with each other uh, by the way the toolkit's built. So now that we have this here, if we run the app, we can have in a sense a basically a standalone app here um, that, you know, it's really simple. It shows how it works, uh, but we have other tools, you know, toggles, and we have uh, you know state panels, and we have input fields, and and a select uh, panel as well to like select items. So so you know in, uh, this is still in beta. There's going to be a lot more tools that we'll add, but it's already very functional and lets you hook up like this. So now it is actually ready to build a new an Android app. I can just come up here and you know, look at the build setting. It's already set to be built to an Android app. I want to add this open scene, so we have to save our scene here. Um, so I'll come into the toolkit and I'll just come into our examples and I'll come here and I'll say for uh, recorded demo who and that happened to be my parrot who wanted a little bit of attention while I'm doing this and then um, all I have to do now is uh, I don't want this one I want just the one we did I hit build and run and this will actually build it out on Android, just if I did that now. But what we, we have here is I did a local host server. And so I'm gonna show how quickly here, I can switch this server over here to learn Odoo class and do a query. It'll requery all this data here. And notice now we're talking to a different server. And this server is actually on the internet. So uh, when I build out my app on my phone, it'll actually be able to connect to the real data. If, if I was to build it with a local host, it'd be kind of complicated to get my, my, my phone, which is an independent device running you know, on, a, on a 4G network to actually go to my local host here um, on my server. Uh, so that's how quickly you can just switch the servers here um, like this, and you'll see it actually requeries it as you uh, switch them over like that. So with that, that's part of it, but then also this isn't really set up 
to look and display well on a mobile device. Um, it's going to, as it resizes, it's going to look bad. Um, so what we want to do is just come here to some of these things. And instead of having it go center, we're going to pin it to the left. Um, and we'll just do that with, some, with these objects like this one as well. Pin it to the upper left corner. So you get all these tools for aligning these things so that they'll display well on any device. And there's a lot to this, but we don't have to do a whole lot. We can keep it simple. We're just going to align them to the left top so that when we reorchestrate this, and I can come in here to game, change it from free an, uh, aspect to say like a portrait. Notice how it re uh, everything stayed where it needed to be. And so that's how it's going to look when we build this out um, like that. And this one, I forgot to put that left uh, in, and that's why it ended up over there. So that's important. And that's it. We can come here and say build and run, hit save. And all right, so here it is uh, on the mobile device. Just pushed right there now. I just hit next and previous. It's working just like you'd expect. Uh, right on the phone. Really quick to build native apps. It, the data hooks up to Odoo simply. It also is built, uh, you know, I've been an enterprise architecture for 30 years, so um, I'm very satisfied with the design. And what I'm going to be doing is releasing this. If you're interested and you like uh, more about this, you can come to Odoo. Uh, innercircle.com. I'll have some links below and I'm including this uh, starting basically the 1st of September as part of my uh, Mastering Odoo Development Mastermind course, <clears throat> the Odoo Developer Mastermind. And uh, so it'll be in a beta format like that accessible to anyone that's basically part of my classes in, cor in that course. I'll be releasing new other demos. I'll be showcasing uh, its uh, stages as it gets improved. Please, uh, you know, like down below, you know, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, you can see the power that uh, comes from being able to build out these uh, toolkits like this.